Well, the rock itself has cured and has come out of the forms, and I had put tile in here as a test run, and it, it broke. It got too hot, and to keep the pot elevated, I just took two pieces of rebar and, and cut it, two small pieces. Um, if you haven't seen the previous video on how I made that, I'll show you real quick, just a quick overview. I made it in a, in a bucket, five gallon bucket, and to re remove it I just cut it. And if I want to use this again, I'll just duct tape it, and I took sewer pipe, and it went in like this, so, right, cut it at a 45 degree, and with it in there, I just packed concrete around it. And I used a high strength concrete that was 80, or uh, it had fiberglass reinforcement in it. And I used 80% uh, perlite to 20% concrete in, in my mix. And I'm, I tried to make a, a fire concrete brick, is what I have done. This is all that's required to make the stove. It's just a four inch piece of pipe, five gallon bucket very small amount of concrete and perlite and this is what it looks like after it cures and the reason people like this so much is you can't store enough propane or enough kerosene or wood on hand to cook with and this just requires twigs and let me show you how we get it started What I do to get it started, I don't know if this is right or wrong, but I just stick them in here just to get it, get a fire going. And then I'll go and burn, burn wood through the bottom, but just right now. And I use the old cotton ball method. Out of petroleum jelly. Okay? And it's the petroleum jelly that's the fuel. And I open up the cotton ball just like that. And I take a knife and a piece of flint. And I don't use the knife at the uh, most rigid part. I find that it flicks better at the end like that. And I just flick it. See how quick that was? It lights every time. And I, I like to throw a little bit, nobody else does this, but I, I just want to make sure that it it burns. I, I throw another one in there. Let's get my fire going. But it it starts every time this way. Alright, that's all there is to it. Fire start. Alright, we have the stove warmed up, and I've got two cups of water in here. We're just going to do the simple boil test and see how long it takes to boil the water. Approximately two minutes for a rolling boil. Mm 